This heavenly music is that of the Angelus Ringers, Penticton's handbell chorus, where some members have been chiming melodies for a dozen years or so, like founding ringer Fern Gibbard. I like the music, but uh, definitely what keeps me there is uh, my fellow ringers. Um, I have very small hands and a little bit of arthritis in my thumbs, and I don't manage the very high bells because you have to ring two or three of them in, in the same hand. and. My hand, my fingers just won't stretch around them. A handbell chorus may have a number of sets of bells, each striking a single note, from large bass bells to those octaves higher. And players may operate a bell or two, or even several, depending on the individual's skill level. Like any good music, to blend the harmonies, the trick is in the timing. Timing is everything with bells, but you learn a lot of that as you go along. And Dorothy says a bell choir is a good equalizer. No one is more important than anyone else. Everyone has their role to play. And one of the difficulties when you're learning bells is to realize that you sometimes have the melody and have to play a little louder. Sometimes you do not and you have to learn to blend in with the other, with the other bells and make the tune sound as it should, as tuneful. Archie, ring touch. Okay, it's a quick ring to the shoulders, really quick. The Angelus ringers are led by Peggy Bensler, who directs a number of bell choruses in the valley. Absolutely anyone can learn, but it's nice if you can read music so that you have some knowledge as to where your bells will fit in. If anybody's interested in bells, they can always come and sit in on one of our practice sessions and we would welcome some more ringers. The Angelus Ringers practice 9.30 Wednesday mornings at the Penticton United Church and are rehearsing for a public performance on March 27th and again on April 21st. Anyone can join the group. For more information, call Diane Martin at 778-516-0212. For Go Okanagan, I'm Wayne McDougall in Penticton.